Hi folks, it's Pastor Carl Ziegler. Uh, today's date is December the 16th. This is my fireside chat for this week. I think my beard is coming in quite nice, don't you? I think it's looking pretty good. A lot of people say it looks really nice. Now my wife, she says that I look like I should be passed out on the church lawn uh, with a bottle in my hand, but that's that's my wife. But anyway, first some news. Uh, getting ready for your Christmas feast? Well, if you are, Fairway has on sale uh, boneless ribeye, 14 to 16 pound uh, packages uh, for $8.99 a pound. Now, I know that sounds high, but that's actually a pretty good price. They also have boneless hams on sale for $2.99. And they also have their lovely ham loaf mix, which I can personally attest to. All you need to do is add graham crackers and um, some eggs, mix it all together. Pop it in the oven. It's like ham meatloaf. It's wonderful. Mm, 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 good. Also, the mask mandate for Papillion has gone away. That means that masks are uh, 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 back, if you will, but but they're encouraged. They're not required uh, now, uh, except on a Bible class where they are required, unless you're uh, eating donuts or drinking coffee. Now, it could come back if the hospital... Um, rates go back up, but currently we no longer have a mask mandate in Papillion. Also, you need to sign up for all services, at least for right now, continuing that through at least the end of this year, Christmas season, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the first Sunday uh, after uh, Christmas. There will be no services uh, at First Lutheran Church on St. Stephen the Martyr, Day or Boxing Day, which is the same day, which is also December the 26th. Also, there will be no Bible study or um, youth uh, youth uh, Sunday school or, or children's Sunday school on the 27th. We'll just have two services, 8 and 1030. Everything resumes uh, back to the normal schedule uh, the uh, first weekend in January. Finally. Fireside Chats will be taking a brief hiatus, a holiday hiatus, uh, for the next two weeks. We won't have one next Wednesday or the week between uh, Christmas and New Year's. We will resume the first Wednesday in January. So last week I shared with you one of my favorite books, God Came Near. And I want to share with you some more out of that. And this is from a uh, question or, or uh, uh, chapter six entitled 25 questions for mary what was it like to watch him pray how did he respond when he saw other kids giggling during the service at the synagogue when he saw a rainbow did he ever mention a flood did you ever feel awkward teaching him how he created the world when he saw a lamb being led to the slaughter, did he act differently? Did you ever see him with a distant look on his face as if you were listening to someone whom you couldn't hear? How did he act at funerals? Did the thought ever occur to you that God to whom you were praying was asleep under your own roof? Did you ever try to count the stars with him and succeed? Did he ever come home with a black eye? How did he act when he got his first haircut? Did he have any friends by the name of Judas? Did he do well in school? Did you ever have to scold him? Did he ever have to ask a question about scriptures? What do you think he thought when he saw a prostitute offering to the highest bidder the body that he'd made? Did he ever get angry when someone was dishonest with him. Did you ever catch him pensively looking at the flesh of his own arm while holding a clod of dirt? Did he, ever, did he ever wake up afraid? Who was his best friend? When someone referred to Satan, how did he act? Did you ever accidentally call him father? What did he and his cousin John talk about as kids? Did his, did his other brothers and sisters understand what was happening and did you ever think that was god eating your soup 
you know, amid all of the hoopla and all of the stuff that goes on at Christmas, carols by the spinet, Santa, sweet baby Jesus under the manger, the, the visit of the wise men and all that sort of stuff, we tend to lose fact, l l lose sight of the fact that God became flesh. There's a wonder to that that is hard to, hard to get a hold of. John puts it this way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory, as the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. In this COVID time, again, where masks and media and fear make everything seem so far away. Remember that the word at Christmas, the whole point is that the word became flesh. The whole point is that God comes near. God bless you, my dear people. I hope and I pray that you have a wonderful Christmas, even in these COVID times few things to leave you with. Again, be in the Word daily. Be in prayer daily. Saturate yourself with it. Um, read hymns. Sing hymns. Do those things. Uh, that is going to see you through these times, I believe. Also, be a good neighbor. Be the body of Christ where he has placed you. And also, do be in worship. Be in worship in person if you can be. If not, join us on the live stream. Again, don't forget to call into worship and register at our special reservation center. God bless you. I will see you again in January.